Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to review Star Mickey from Mickey and Friends. Star Mickey is a new sum this month in the month of July, and this sum is to celebrate the game's 9th anniversary. Star Mickey is a little bit easier to get compared to Infernal Maleficent Dragon and Blue Fairy Godmother. For me, the drop rates for Star Mickey is 40% compared to the 30% for Infernal Maleficent Dragon and Blue Fairy Godmother. And the game demonstration you're about to see here is a skill level 1 game demonstration. I am playing with the 5-4 and time boost on, so just for your reference. So the ability description for Star Mickey is that he's going to start fever time and turns into special Mickey Zooms. He is going to change a total of 3 Zooms. Essentially what that means is that 3 special Star Mickey is going to show up on the screen. So the cool thing about Star Mickey, the ability is that you can connect Star Mickeys regardless of where they are. And the Star Mickeys do look a little bit different, but I'll get into that in just a little bit. And if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel and you would like to see more Sim Sim content just like this, please consider subscribing to this channel. It really helps me out a lot. Okay, so let's take a look at the stats. In order to activate Star Mickey's ability, you're going to need to clear a total of 16 copies of Mickey off the screen. His minimum score is 160 with a maximum score of 994. So when it comes to score, Star Mickey isn't necessarily that amazing. It, you could still use Star Mickey for score, but there are better zooms out there. And if you would like to get Star Mickey to scale level 6, you're going to need to get a total of 32 copies of him uh, in the premium box. Right now in the month of July, he is going to be a lucky time zoom. So if you miss the first round, there is going to be additional Star Mickeys that will drop at the end of the month. So if you really want a copy of Star Mickey, then just wait until the end of the month and you'll be able to get Star Mickey. And Star Mickey's ability is fairly simple. Every single time you level up his skill level, one thing changes, and that's essentially how many Star Mickey or special Star Mickeys will show up on the screen. If you have him at skill level 1, you're only going to get 3 as you see here on this game demonstration. 3 special Star Mickey showed up on the screen. But if you could get him to skill level 6, a total of 8 special Star Mickeys will show up on the screen. But you will need to get 32 copies of him from the premium box, or use skill tickets. And in this case, I don't necessarily recommend you to use uh, ability tickets or skill tickets uh, for Star Mickey. It's really just not worth it. Star Mickey is a fun zoom to use and could be good for missions, but he's not going to earn you a lot of coins. I typically recommend people to use their skill tickets on zooms that could earn you a lot of coins, and that's not Star Mickey. Star Mickey is a very easy zoom to use and good for uh, missions that are for fever time. Uh, but other than that, not worth your skill tickets. All right, so let's get into the second part. I'm gonna show you the game demonstration for skill level one, two, and three. So the major difference here between all three of these skill level is how many special Mickeys or special star Mickeys will show up on the screen. Skill level one, there'll be a total of three. Skill level two, there's four. And skill level three, there's five. And one thing I forgot to mention is that if you play with music on or the background music, star Mickey does have a special theme song. So it's gonna sound a little bit different compared to your other streams that you're currently playing. So if you normally don't play with the background music on, then give it a try, turn that background music on, and then give it a listen and see if you like it. I actually do particularly like the background music for uh, Star Mickey compared to the other ones. I normally don't play with the background music on either because I would like to hear all the students burst. But for Star Mickey, I did turn it on uh, just to see how it sounds like. And I, I do enjoy the background music for Star Mickey. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about strategy when it comes to Star Mickey. Now, all of the strategy is slightly different for all six of the skill level, but I'm going to give you a general view on how to use Star Mickey as efficiently as possible. So the first thing you want to do is be as quick as possible. And at these lower skill level, you're not going to necessarily have a lot of uh, special Star Mickeys on the screen. First thing you want to notice is that where are the Star Mickeys? So once you activate the ability, spot where they are. And if you have him as skill level 2 at the very minimum, try to connect those four uh, special star Mickeys as quickly as possible. There are one difference between the special Mickeys versus the non-special Mickeys is that the special star Mickey will have his eyes open. So keep an eye out for those. If you lose track of where the star Mickeys are, you'll be able to see them on the screen with the eyes open. And the next thing you want to do is prioritize speed over accuracy. So don't do what I'm doing right now at the skill level 2 game demonstration. As you saw there, I was trying to make a really long chain versus the speed. In that case, what you should do is just connect all of the Star Mickeys, the special Star Mickeys, 
as fast as possible and then just let them burst like you see here at skill level 3. Because what happens during the animation is that it's going to burst surrounding zooms. Uh, you don't want to spend too much time trying to connect the long chains because you're going to lose out on a lot of time. And if you have a magic bubble handy, consider popping it right after the animation like you just saw there at skill level 3. What happens then is it skips the animation, causing all the zooms to drop down quickly. Alright, so now let me show you a side-by-side -side comparison of Star Mickey's ability activated at the same time. So this is in full animation, so I'm just going to let it play through so you can see what's actually happening. And keep an eye out, there are special Star Mickeys on the screen that's left over for skill level 1. Okay, so let me slow this down so that way we can analyze what's actually happening here. So like I mentioned, for skill level 1, there's going to be 3 special Star Mickey, and then 4 for skill level 2, and then 5 for skill level 3. This is going to remain consistent and constant uh, throughout the entire game. It's not going to change. And you'll notice there that it doesn't pick a specific type of zooms. It's just going to be completely random. And once you have uh, the ability activated, at this point where you see all these stars here on the screen, start memorizing your path. So like think about how you're going to be connecting it. The best way to do it is try to do it in a circle. It doesn't matter which way the circle goes. Uh, for skill level 1, it's a little bit more difficult because you only have 3, so you're really going to be drawing a triangle. For skill level 2, you're going to get at least 4. So draw that square and then so forth. So try to go in a circle motion to the best of your ability and then just let it go as, uh, as quickly as possible there. Again, prioritize uh, speed over accuracy, which I didn't do, by the way, for these game demonstrations. So don't follow exactly what I did here. So take a look at it here. I uh, just want to show you the difference between the special star mickeys versus the ones that are just regular. You'll notice that the uh, special star mickeys have their eyes open. And one more thing is that once you have the ability activated, you're going to be able to connect uh, star mickeys even if they're not touching each other. So uh, for skill level 1, you'll see there there's about 5 zooms towards the top. Uh, even though you might start at the bottom right hand corner, uh, you could jump to the top left corner and connect those extra 5. So don't prioritize trying to connect long chains, just let them go as quickly as possible. So as I play through here, you'll see that I'm trying to draw a really long chain for all of these gameplays. And this is not what you should be doing. You see how much time that I spent there? And it didn't really result in a great success. So the, the strategy here is try to connect the special star Mickeys as, quick, as quickly as possible. And then let go of the chain and burst surrounding zooms. And overall, I think Star Mickey is a really easy and fun sim to use, but I wouldn't necessarily say spend your skill tickets on Star Mickey. Star Mickey is a really good sim for any missions that you have that you need to get a lot of missions per game. Uh, for this month, there are missions where it requires you to start Fever Time 20 times per game, and Star Mickey is going to be your best bet uh, for this month. Because not only will you get the character bonus, but Star Mickey will start Fever Time during the gameplay. So what that means is that even if you are in fever time and you activate the ability, that's going to count as two fevers. So regardless if you are in fever time or not, uh, once you activate the ability for Star Mickey, it's going to go into fever time again. Uh, even if you're in fever time already and you activate it, you're going to go into a second fever time. It doesn't do anything, but it just counts as two fever times. All right, so let me show you the results for these three gameplays. For skill level one, I ended up with 964 coins. Skill level 2, I got 1,404 coins, and at skill level 3, I ended up with 1,782. So as you can see here, not great for coins, and for score, it's also mediocre, not great for these lower skill levels. Skill level 1, 3.7 million, 4.3 for skill level 2, and then skill level 3, I only ended up with 5.8. So Star Mickey is not going to be great for score, not going to be great for coins, but it is going to be great for mission, and it's also a Star Mickey with a really cool background music. So for that, at least get Star Mickey to skill level 1. So that's my review for Star Mickey. I hope that you guys found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you guys would like to see more SimSim content just like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching.